so this is the second question now actually what i saw is that it is different in the book that i have physically and it is a little different in this one here although both of them are the fourth edition but i'm not sure why the difference is anyways i'm going to go on along with like the the one that is uh, mentioned in the book so what it says is so i will read it out first exponentials of the form e uh, like I've written this exponential of this form with a positive constant are useful for constructing smooth intensity transformation functions start with this basic function and construct transformation functions having the general shapes shown in the following figures so one is this one is this so basically what we have to do is this is the general form of these functions uh, and we have to find what like taking this as the base uh, what will be the equations or the what will be the transformation function for this and this figure here so whenever like we have to deal with graphs i like plotting it out <coughs> no sorry because otherwise it is a little difficult to figure out okay how will we convert this graph given something like this and how will we get this one so let us plot it and let's see what shape we get for different values of a i will quickly head on to desmos i use this for plotting graphs it is i mean it is easy to visualize this way so the equation is e to the power minus a x square x because x is the input here so x square then we can add the slider for a is in this cool all right now uh, we'll zoom in so this is what we get for e to the power minus a x square which is quite what we want right so yeah uh, this is this is good so let's start with the basic function let's say that our let's use y and x as of now so our y is a constant a or i mean should it be a? um okay let's make this constant as c e to the power minus a r square so the first thing is if i put r as zero or let it be as x if i put x as 0 y is a so if i put x as 0 this is 0 e to the power minus of 0 is 1 so y is equals to c and y is a so here we get the value of our constant so basically i can write it as y is equals to a e to the power minus a x square and the second thing is if i put x as l naught this is a by 2 if i put x as n naught the function maps it to a by 2 so at x equals to l naught y is a by 2 a e to the power minus a l naught square and from here we can find the value of a because initially we had this equation right this is what we need to find out and this has two unknowns one is the constant here and one is this constant here so using the first equation we found out that c is a a is well this value which is given to us and then using the second equation we get the value of this small a here now i put this equation so a and a cancel out it is 1 by 2 a to the power minus a l naught square and taking log both sides it will be log of 1 by 2 is equals to this will come down minus a l naught square and here a uh, log of 1 by 2 is 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 minus sorry a is yeah so this will be minus 0 0.6 nine three one four let's use it like this this will be minus a l naught square so a 
is 0 0.693 by L naught and this and then we can put in in the final um, function so the final function would be y is equal to a a to the power minus 0. Point, uh, this is L naught square 0 0.693 by L naught square into R square and what is the value of L naught well L naught is the value um, on which the function gives a by 2 so this is how it is now I can erase this and just write how our final function would look like so our final function sorry for that our final function would be s is equal to uh, because it's s and r right so s is equals to a e to the power minus 0 0.693 by l okay by l naught square r square i don't know what's happening here remove this remove this okay i'm sorry i'm still new to this uh, sorry for this i'm not able to remove this anyways um this is here l naught square now coming to the second part so now we have solved for this so this is the transformation function that we will get now what about this one this looks a little different right so let's see and let's i mean play around and try to get this sort of function in desmos so if i change a value i see okay i get something like this what do i need to change uh, so if you can see this is like should come right here so this is reverse uh, if I minus one let's see one minus yeah something like this yeah, this is this is a bit similar to this so this is the function will hold so it's one minus what we had before so I will right now so for this one now we are solving for the second part um, okay let's write it in s, s only so this is a little too big so s is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus a r square and again we have to add a constant here which is c which is c now at x or r equal to 0 the output should also be 0 and we can see that here if we put r as 0 it will be 1 and 1 minus 1 will be 0 and secondly if r is a very large number so r is a very large number then this is this will tend to 0 then s the output should be b so if r is a very large number so let's say r is tending to infinity it is just a fancy notation of writing uh, r is a very large number so then s is it's not s no more so now it is b is equal to c 1 minus 0 so we get the value of our constant which is b so i will write the equation again so s is equals to b 1 minus e minus a r square now we have one con one uh, variable we know now we need to find what is the value of a and again we put the second equation we put r as l naught and for that s would be b by 2 so b by 2 is equal to b 1 minus e minus a l naught square b and b cancel out so 1 by 2 is equals to 1 minus e minus a l naught square again so this will be uh, when we can solve this so i'm solving this here so e minus a l naught square 
should go to 1 by 2 is this the same as before I think it's a little bit same as before yeah so we take the log and log would be the in when we take the log e would cancel out it will be minus a l naught square and log of 1 by 2 is minus 0 0.693 yeah it is same as as before and we will get a as 0 0.693 by l naught square it's just uh, like a value is same as before so the final it would be s is equals to b 1 minus e to the power minus a 0 0.693 by l naught square r square so this will be the final function and i will now write them together oops i <laughs> Uh, wait. I'm still playing out with this uh, little new <sighs> again, man. No. Yes. So the second part answer is S is equal to B. One minus e to the power minus zero point six nine three by l naught square again man i don't know this uh, r square so this is the solution for the second